I've been neglecting my crock pot, so it's time to fix that. My name is Vanessa. Thanks for joining me today. If you have been with my channel for a little while, you have seen lots of Instant Pot recipes. I have definitely fallen in love with my Instant Pot. I love it so much, I now own two, but my crock pot has been a little sad. So today I am going to make a dinner very, very easy in the crock pot. Now this type of dinner, I do wanna let you guys know beforehand before we get into making it, it has two steps. So if you are a stay-at-home mom, it doesn't matter, but if you are a, you work away from the home, not just moms, dads, anybody, you might have to come home at like lunch to do the second part. So I just wanted to let you guys know this is not a just dump and go. There's a little bit of steps involved. So let's take you down to the counter and prep this dinner in the crock pot. So first up, you're going to put one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast into your crock pot. You can see here one of my breasts is a little bit bigger than the other, but this is just slightly over one pound. Then I'm adding an entire can of chicken broth, and this is 14.5 ounces. I'm also adding an entire 14.5 ounce of petite diced tomatoes. Juices included, everything in there. Now for some seasoning. So on here I have two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of chili powder, and one teaspoon of cumin. So I am just going to mix all this up just to get the seasonings all incorporated into the chicken broth and the tomato juice. All right, time to cook. I'm just gonna place my lid on. We're actually gonna cook it on low for four hours. Now my crock pot doesn't have a four hour time setting, so I'm just going to make my own timer on my phone. So just make sure whatever kind of crock pot you have, it's on low and you're gonna cook it for four hours. Okay, four hours is up. You guys are gonna hear my dishwasher going behind me because, you know, mom life, I needed to get some dishes going. But now I am adding one can of black beans. I did rinse and drain these. That's why they're in a strainer. Also adding one cup of brown rice. And then I'm adding one cup of frozen corn. So I am just going to mix all of this together. Smells really good putting my lid back on, keeping it on low, and it's gonna cook for another four hours on low. All right, second batch of four hours is done. The rice is definitely done. You can see most of the liquid has been absorbed into everything that we've got in here. So now I'm going to get my chicken out and shred it, and I'm gonna show you guys my quick shredding hack. Okay, so I've got my chicken in my bowl, and this is definitely the quickest way I have ever been able to shred chicken, plus it saves my hands. I just have a hand mixer. I do have it on one, the lowest setting, and I'm just gonna turn it on and shred my chicken. All right, once you have shredded your chicken, you're just gonna add that back to the crock pot and mix everything all up. All right, dinner is served. So I just have it in these fun little tostada crowns that I found at the store. You could totally serve this up with just chips, kind of like nacho style, or even in a tortilla like a burrito, or just with no extra carbs, like a chicken salad type of thing. So I've got the mixture on the bottom, then I've got some lettuce, some shredded cheese, and on the top here I've got guacamole, sour cream, and some extra salsa. I cannot wait to dig in. All right, there you have it, a shredded chicken bowl. Not just bowl, you could do anything with this. It's kind of like a chicken filling. That's what I'm gonna call it. So if you guys like this recipe, give it a big thumbs up. I'm always on the lookout for more recipes to make. I love cooking. So just let me know any suggestions you have down in the comments, and I have an ongoing list. I also asked everybody not too long ago over on my Instagram for dishes that you guys would like to see me make. So if you're not following me over there, 
All my social media is in the description if you guys want to follow me outside of YouTube. So if you are new, I would love for you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. 